In the last video, we prepared our machine learning toolkit, where we set up with Keras and Docker in order to allow us to run Jupyter Notebooks to process machine learning. In this section, we're going to look into preparing image data for use with machine learning and the steps that are involved to hook that into Keras. We're going to start out by learning about the MNIST digits. These are handwritten characters in the form of images that we're effectively going to do OCR on with machine learning. And then we're going to talk about tensors. And tensors sound like a math word, and it really is, but as a programmer, you've seen multidimensional arrays. So you've actually already been doing tensors, and I'll show you the equivalency. Finally, we're going to turn images into tensors. Images, as you're used to seeing them on a computer, need a special form of encoding to be used with machine learning. Then we're going to turn the categories, in this case, the 0 through 9 that are the characters of the individual digits, into category labels. And then finally, we're going to recap, and I'm going to show you essentially a cookbook about how to think of data when you prepare it for machine learning. And now let's learn about the MNIST digits. In this video, we'll look at the image data notebook that I've prepared to help us understand how to deal with image data, downloading and getting the MNIST digits, looking at images as raw numbers, and then finally visualizing the actual images based on this numeric data. The code we're going to be working with is contained in an IPython notebook. This is the way we've set up our container. So you're going to be running your container as we talked about at the end of the setting up your machine learning toolkit. And I've prepared an image data IPython notebook that we're working with. We start off by importing all the needed packages. And we're going to, as you see, turn on matplotlib in order to automatically plot. This means when we show an image, we don't have to call dot plot. It'll, it'll do it for us automatically. Keras actually has the MNIST digits built in as a data set, so we're going to use this convenience and go ahead and load them up. Uh, do note that you need an internet connection because it's going to be downloading these as a file from S3. And then you see as we load the data, this is a Python tuple we're unpacking into two sets, a training set and a testing set. This is actually a common convention in machine learning to split your data into segments. Uh, you use it in order to see that your model is actually learning with the training set, and then you use a testing set to make sure that your model is not what's called overfitting, which really means is your model memorizing the training data or is it actually learning? Now, a quick setting with the format options for NumPy as we print out arrays, we're looping through the image as an array of arrays and then printing out the data. And as you can see, the image is really just numbers on 0 to 255. This is a grayscale image, and each one of these integers here records how dark that particular pixel is. Now let's plot the image and see what these numbers really look like. Matplotlib has a simple plot function that you can give an array of arrays, or basically a two-dimensional array of XY pixels, and it'll draw it out as an image file. And here you can see what looks an awful lot like a zero. 